much arranged to be picked up and the movers are coming in like 10 minutes. This is actually not a super stressful move. Oh, there they are. Oh, he's calling me. Bambi has gone with the wind. Prairie is very shy yet curious about people. She loves people. And then the mover said he's really scared of cats and all animals actually. So he's like, oh my god, I didn't see her right there. <laughs> You're okay. You're okay. I overestimated, I think out of anxiety, that the movers, the all of that time is gonna take like five hours and then in reality it took just under three it was like two hours and 55 minutes or something and here we are all moved in all my things i'm so relieved that on this side where i'm gonna have my painting section set up that all my stuff actually fits in the back like storage section all that is missing are shelves to store so I'm gonna be on the hunt at like Facebook Marketplace, just trying to get everything secondhand. I actually got that shelf secondhand. I'm starving. I only ate a wrap for breakfast. So I'm gonna go and have lunch now and then do some work, just editing, before I get this stuff set up a different day. I've been enjoying the studio so far. It's been a few weeks. And here's my progress. I built this shelf. I got this other shelf and i got pieces of a shelf so buying things from facebook marketplace comes with the territory of like the inconvenience of having to rent a car and now i'm just like really exhausted i still need a fridge a microwave just to make coming here and working here every day possible so i can like have hot meals and stuff and I'm a little bit overwhelmed so I'm not really like up for vlogging but I am painting right now and taking the time to practice daily even if the studio is not perfect yet it's a big whip work in progress Where's my executive assistant? There he is. <laughs> this place is still a mess. I'm having a little picnic. It's like raining outside, so I can't go to the park. But I'm taking a break. Because I finished a painting this morning and I'm starting another one. And at the moment, I don't have internet here in the studio, so it's just been a nice opportunity to unplug. I'm excited for that because like I have an online shop and you know that it's been like a couple years, but I guess I've never properly had like a massive studio where I can have the inventory organized and then like also fulfill. And as you might know, I have big dreams for this little shop. It is powered by Shopify, a commerce platform that allows you to bring your vision to life with ease because you can start from scratch and build a website with professional templates and take it to the next level by customizing the backend code, hiring collaborators, and you can also sell in person. Some of the plans for Pepper Blue Collective include expanding our inventory and designing like exciting products for uh, the ceramic collection but also like home goods hopefully the shopify user interface makes running the store from launching to shipping and fulfilling orders uncomplicated starting simple and maybe scaling up through collaboration is really easy too with permission settings and team tools like right before i came to studio i was talking to a friend that i made recently who is a software engineer and she wants to 
collaborate and like trade and she can work on the website and customize it for me which i'm so excited about take a look at the link below and check out all you can do with shopify the possibilities are so exciting you can get a free trial using the link shopify.com slash annabelle gal i'm finishing up for the day and i'm gonna have dinner at my friend's house she's gonna cook sindubu for us and today was an interesting day. I worked on three paintings. I also wanted to practice a landscape painting um, and I had a photo reference, but that made me really frustrated. And I think it was like, because if I were to reflect or like dig deep down, I think it's because I wasn't really sure what I was trying to say. And I could just treat it like sheer practice and be like, okay this is how i would interpret this landscape or whatever but like the colors felt dull to me so i just kind of felt like it was like out of my control um a little more than i'd like so then that made me frustrated a little bit so then i was like screw it i'm just gonna put it down there it is it's horizontal but i just put it down there to dry and i can like figure it out next time uh, like what I where i want it to go so i just started like this other painting that i've been wanting to do I just like had it in my mind and I think that like cheered me up a little bit. Of course, I don't really want to be so like outcome oriented of being like, okay, now I get to be happy because I like made something I'm satisfied with or like I'm gonna feel like shit because <laughs> I didn't perform well, but like I find it difficult to do. I don't know how to quite separate myself from that yet, but I'm going to try just to like in the future just think about like what if my goal for the, for the day is to put in this much time into this activity and then see what comes of it and then respond to it later rather than like scrutinize it every step along the way and make myself anxious so that's kind of that's my day very appetizing <laughs> do you want big bowl probably big bowl i'm okay. gonna spill it okay sounds good how was today it was good together here so I'll invite you to bring the palms together from palm to palm again we lift the chest up as you take a deep breath in take the chest back inhale come forward exhale come back inhale come forward exhale come back